Hello and welcome to another Industrial Dimensions video. It's been a long time, everyone, and uh, here I am in a glass box. This is uh, this is Twitch Nitro, and I'm in one of the maps that I've been working on. Um, okay, so to start off, uh, sorry for the lack of videos, not there, but we, me and uh, the Fizz have been extraordinarily busy with uh with uni work so I haven't really had time and so to celebrate the uni work coming to an end for another year I have um I've made a quick uh 2v2 map now uh oh I've got a couple of things to talk about really but firstly obviously yes this is the 2v2 map that we are currently in we're going to be finishing off a couple of things while I talk about some other stuff, rain on cue, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So 1.3 is coming out, and I didn't really want to make that many ma new maps, which require, you know, I mean, I've seen what's coming out in 1.3, and it's all awesome. Every bit of the new update looks awesome. Um, so obviously, you know, uh that's coming out and it's gonna change my map making completely now I made this map because obviously it doesn't use any of the new things I don't need to implement any of the new things it's quite box standard it's just a maximum of four player map the players can spawn in here if you um if you set the player locations correctly I have yet to finish this because what I'm gonna do is take all of this side and duplicate it and um, to test this map, I will be handing this over to Crazed Gypsy, and he'll be doing a video on it with his lot, and they'll be playing a 2v2 game on this map, so be sure to check it out. There's going to be a link in the description, and check him out. You know, you may have seen him, he's in some of our vids, some of our other Industrial Dimension videos, you know. He's in those. So, the idea of the map, obviously you start in these little glass things, and everybody's all logged in to the uh, to the server or what have you. You uh, you break out death area over there. That's the actual spawn point. If something's gone wrong with the player names, you'll end up spawning there. Um, you can do a death match or a sort of burn the flag down type thing. Yeah, you have to burn down this. This will all be blue wool on the other side when I duplicate it over in MC Edit. We might be able to record some MC Edit stuff. So you can come down here or just go straight into the map. There's a another way over here if you want to risk it. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't risk that. Um, so there are various boxes around the map to help you. Resource collecting. Random water. Hmm. Some diamonds so you can make your armor. Yep. Some wool blocks so you can build flint and steel just in case you're playing that variant wood so you can cultivate wood or you can just go straight into the action a little uh, a rushing staircase here so you can just run down obviously falling to your death is going to be a problem so um, that's why the building blocks are there you can sort of help yourself and cheat a bit now this this is quite cool these are spaced out should be perfectly now watch me fail Yay, I failed. Ah. Uh, let's get around a little bit quicker. Wee. Loving single player. Uh commands. Okay. Loving the block select too. Uh change this around. So yep, this is the map so far. As I said, Craze Gypsy. He'll be doing some things. I'll uh, show you around this map when it's fully completed obviously um, so we'll probably cut to that um, I'm going to be putting a sort of another an add I mean there's lots of added chests in here you got your golden apples you got your uh, your potions all quite close to your enemy team so your sharpness X that sharpness 10 sword cannot get that by legitimate means your lava bucket given to you on a sea of flammable objects and TNT so you could blow up your opponent's side 
and uh, some extra diamond blocks for the armors if you decide to go down that route. So overall some space so you can have a little archery competition or what have you. Everything you'd need is in there. I mean there's quite a bit of strategy. You can send one person off in each direction to do each chore that you need. Send people off to try and steal some of the opponent's stuff or destroy the opponent's chests. Steal their sharpness sword so then your team has two sharpness swords. If your team gets that sharpness sword it my assumption is that it'll go quite quickly, but don't hold me to that. Um, that's why that's why I'm doing testing, uh, and that's why I'm handing it over to a crazy gypsy and his mental bunch. Um, so yeah, again, sorry for the lack of videos. Uh, I should be able to make that. Maybe it's just because I suck and I'm recording. So, I'll cut to when this is done, or at least more finished than it is now. Playing in this screen re resolution is a bit odd. So, see you in a second. Alright guys, hey. Um, yep, as you can see it's done. Um, I went into uh, MC Edit and used InDev Edit and all kinds of edit under the sun to set the spawns to either side. I'll go into that now. As you can see, I'm holding a flower, but it's not just any flower. I decided to give it fire aspect. Uh, every player that enters the map will receive this if they're uh, actually playing, that is. Um, if you're not playing, you spawn over there. And if you die, you obviously then spawn over there. But when you start out the map, um, there's a readme file that comes with the map, and that'll tell you what to do. And basically, you go into the player folder and change, you know, red player one, red player two, or whatever, to the names of the people you want there. So, so it makes sure that you spawn in these places, and you'll have nothing on you except my little rose every player gets the rose both teams unfortunately I can't change it so the blue team gets a blue rose but yep as you can see the map has come together quite nicely there's lots of options to run into the other players um, there's also quite a few options to die so you have gotta be careful and uh, I mean obviously you can harvest wood here um, that would be an idea for a for the second version of the map. I should give the yeah I should give the players bone meal. Otherwise it'll take years to. Damn, I didn't think of that. Well, you see, there we go. There's there's something I thought of just then. Um, yeah. So everything's been every side's been changed. The blue players start here. The red players start all the way over there. You can run out and go into your various directions. Battle here. Let's have a look at nighttime view quite happy with how the layout turned out. Uh, there may be some balancing issues. I might need to replace the TNT a bit more. Um, I like this little ice area because running on it is quite difficult. Uh, actually, I just it doesn't it doesn't matter what I do. Every time I there we go. Yeah, I think it's just me. Every time I start recording I always get really crap at the game. Uh some soup. Over here in the middle. Uh so this is for anybody who's gonna be playing. Um well really, this is just for uh Craze Gypsy at the moment. Uh so you guys know really good stuff in here. And obviously the lava's up here too. As this is the one chest which isn't duplicated. There is only one of this on this entire map. So I hope... Uh, I'm, I don't think I'll be putting the map up for download, at least not until it's all balanced. And, yep, that reminds me to remind you at the end of this, which is now. Um, Craze Gypsy, 
a uh, another Minecrafter and uh, a, U a fellow YouTuber. He is he is going to be playing this map with his friends on on his server. Um, we may play this later on the Industrial Dimension server as well, and no doubt Crazy Chips, you may join in again. But that will be a a balanced version of this. So he's been very kind, and he said that he was going to help me uh, balance the map out and test it out. And you know, it's it's a fun day by all. I can't wait to to see what sort of shenanigans he gets up to on this map. Uh, I quite like it. Quite like the way it turned out. And um, yep, you so you should go you should go check it out. Check out his channel, and I'll um, I'll probably put a link to his final video as well in the description when he puts up the video. So um, I think I'll just I'll hand it over to uh, to Crazy Chipsy now. Uh, probably put some light over there. Oh yeah, there's a little chest down here that I should probably show you as well. So the dead players have something to do. I just put dragon eggs in here, so I don't know. You can play punch the dragon egg or build a little house out of dragon eggs, and then somebody come past and punch them, and then your house will disappear. So yep, this is the map. Um, I guess I'll see you all next time. Uh, remember check out Crazy Gypsy. Crazy Gypsy's channel, the link will be in the description. Remember to check out our other videos. Um, there's not much to this video to like, but you know, a like is appreciated if you wanna if you wanna leave a like. And uh yep, see you all next time.